They're good dogs. Yes, they are. In Kabul, U.S. troops are helping the Afghan military build its working dog program. But elsewhere in the city, civilians at this compound have been training dogs for decades. They feed them, and they play with them. They socialize them with people and other puppies. They teach them obedience. They build their confidence by taking them through agility courses at different times of day and in all kinds of weather. They also take them into the chaos of the city beyond this compound. Oh, come on, yeah. Come on, two more, yeah. It's all part of a rigorous program to take them from carefree pups to obedient workers, helping sniff out the mines and bombs littering this country after decades at war. One AP mines inside size explosive. It's easy for a dog to find because the dogs can see the things by nose. Senior trainer Zainuddin Qureshi and his colleagues have trained more than a thousand mine detection dogs over the past three decades. With the help of the U.S. Agency for International Development, they began their work in the late 80s as Afghan refugees living in Pakistan. They later returned to Afghanistan during the Taliban regime to help clear the country of Soviet anti-personnel mines. Their Kabul compound is now home to 150 dogs of all ages, including young pups just starting socialization training. Trainers select only those dogs with a temperament for the work and build up their bonds through playtime, like with this group of Malinois pups. And the small is the puppy must work together as a group. Obedience training is also key to working with handlers. So if the dog is obi and believe, accept the comments of the handler, and the handler became sure, yes, my dog is ready. Dog handlers get to know their dogs and their skills through daily grooming and hours of training activities. When it's time for the young pups to be introduced to the explosives they'll hunt, trainers rely on these imported carousels to test their sniffing skills. The Mine Detection Center is the only non-government facility in Afghanistan training working dogs like this. They've not only trained dogs to clear mines from Afghanistan, but from neighboring countries as well and elsewhere in the region. Their trainers have worked with other international organizations and recently traveled to Sudan to establish training courses there. In August, the senior trainers here will celebrate their 30th year at this work. That's more than two centuries in dog years. For Stars and Stripes, this is Chad Garland in Kabul. Yeah. <laughs>